hard. I can't walk anymore. That's too damn bad! Yo, they always have the best openings. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy RJ Elite. You already know what it is, and we got a special one for you today. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot has finally released, and yes, right, your boy's a big Dragon Ball Z fan. You already know Dragon Ball Super, you know. But we're about to dive into this, so we're gonna go ahead and play through this entire saga of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I don't know how deep the rabbit hole goes in this one. I mean, you know, people, typical Dragon Ball games, you know how they go already. We already know the story, but it's going to be fun diving back and playing through them again. So without any further ado, let's go. training every now and then to make sure I don't get too rusty time to see what I can do and you're just the guy to help me do that we're kicking us off already good green <laughs> they're throwing us into the wind quick all right let me see All right, Piccolo, let's go. Let's go, Piccolo. Oh yeah! Oh shoot! Is that the best you can do? Not bad, Piccolo. I'm impressed. I'm guessing that I haven't been training hard enough. Try this. Try this. Yeah, Piccolo. Let's go, baby. About to go for a super attack. Give me all you got. I will. Keep blasting me back. Oh shoot. Yeah. You're as strong as ever, Piccolo. You 
think this is some sort of game? What? No way! It's like Goku to be having a full conversation in the middle of attacking. Oh, jeez. I'm just hitting buttons right now. Y'all, I don't know what, what I'm doing. Should have been blocking, yeah. Super attacks or whatever he's doing. Why is his super attack over? Jeez! Calm down, Piccolo. Yeah! Finish it off, baby, with a good one. So I was saying, I'm trying to figure out how to do these do these things. I've been trying to do super move the whole time. Let's go. Visuals are incredible, baby. Oh, we're gonna love this. Raditz patiently waiting. <laughs> Not much longer before this planet's ours. It would have been ours much sooner if you'd actually done your job, Raditz. Uh, sorry. And that's why everyone calls you Raditz the Runt. Things will be different on the next planet. <laughs> Mark my words, if you screw up again, I will kill you. Wait, I, I just remembered something. I think my little brother Kakarot was sent to a different planet. I'll bet he's still there. You have a brother? I didn't think there were any Saiyans left besides Intimidating us. man. If he joins us, the rest of the universe will be ours in no time. The fact that he's your brother doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. What planet was he sent to? Uh, I think it's called Earth. But now that I think about it, I haven't heard anything about him taking control of it. Damn that Kakarot, what the hell is he doing? Attack of the Saiyans. They got everybody. Gonna be really mad at us. Sorry for getting a bit carried away, Gohan. I was fighting somebody super strong. Super strong? Yeah, a guy going by the name of Piccolo. Piccolo? Yeah, well, he used to be called Demon King Piccolo, and he was real bad to the bone. He's the strongest guy I've ever fought in my whole life. I don't want to fight him again, so I'm hoping to get stronger and soon. 
I'd be afraid to fight someone like that. <laughs> you know, I bet you'd be just fine if you trained yourself up a bit. I don't think Mom would like that very much. Ah, that's right. <laughs> I totally forgot that Chi Chi asked us to get some ingredients for her. How could I not remember that? Ah, <laughs> uh, think. What all did she need again? Oh, uh, I think she wanted some fish and apples, Dad. Oh, yeah, right. Let's just see if we can't find us some apples around this place. There's nothing goes better down your stomach than fish and apples. Okay. Gohan sure is full of energy. Always. Alright, so this is the free roaming controls. And we can do key blasts and stuff in the free roam? Wow. All right, we gotta Don't collect some food. Don't get excited and trip over your own feet. What's this? Now, where did that son of mine run off to? Safe to say he couldn't have gone that far. It's good to keep the controls on the side for you, just in case you forget something. But this is this is a free roam, man. Chichi will be pretty upset if I don't head straight home. <laughs> now, where did that son of mine run off to? They ain't let you get in the water. Say he couldn't have gone that far. That's cool that you can sense like energy and stuff, though. Dad, over here, over here! Wow, Gohan, you're a regular bloodhound. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of apples now. Thanks for finding these, Gohan. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of tired now, though. I get it. And I don't blame you. Hang in there, I got an idea. We'll catch some fish and then head straight home. Okay. But first, we need to find a spot to fish. Okay. Don't walk too fast. You got it. Try to keep up, though. Why don't you just pick your son up and take and carry him around? What's wrong? So we have to find a spot to fish. About a, probably by the pier that I found earlier, right? The two of us need to go together. Then he needs to come on now. Walking yeah. slow as molasses. Huh? What's wrong, Gohan? I'm tired. I can't walk anymore. That's too damn bad! <laughs> Man, you get tired pretty easy, don't you? <laughs> I guess I can carry you if you want. Hooray! Hello! Should have did that in the first place. <laughs> Yay! Look how high I am! <laughs> hey, you perked right up. Were you trying to trick your old man? <laughs> You're one spoiled kid, you know that? He's spoiled because you picked him up and carried him? Really? Can we do hot? No, I can't. So, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm. Um. I want to become a great scholar. What? You're a weird one, aren't you? Wow. Well, I definitely can't help you with your studies or anything like that. But if you're ever looking to toughen up, I'm your man. Nah, uh, fighting is too scary for me. Come to think of it, this is your first time fishing, isn't it? Yep, it is. All right. Then let me show you how I used to do it back when I was your age. It'll be fun. We should be able to catch something here. But what are we going to fish with? We don't have any rods. <laughs> Nobody said anything about a rod, did they? 
Who needs one of those pesky things when you've got a tail? My... my tail? Yep. By dipping your tail in the water, you can feel the fish moving around. Pretty neat, huh? It's really easy once you get the hang of it. I mean, I haven't done it in a while since I don't have a tail anymore. But when I told my friend Bulma about it, she actually made me a makeshift tail to fish with. <laughs> can you believe it? <laughs> nice! Oh, okay. <laughs> so what do you say? Let's catch us some fish. Let's catch some fish. I'm pretty sure there's a good spot somewhere right around this place. With our tails. How about we try right here? <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> this don't look <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is crazy. What the fluff? Oh, come on. Okay, I see. Oops. I have to do what Chi Chi asked me to do first. We're gonna fish. We're gonna fish. Don't worry. I know what we had to do. I thought we had to maybe, you know. Buddy. Yeah. yeah, that seems about right. That's a big fish. Who are you feeding? <laughs> you got them, Dad. Yeah, I bet Chi Chi will flip when she sees this one. Man, all this fishing is really working up an appetite. You know what I mean? Let's eat some of these fish. I mean, we got plenty. <laughs> yeah, I I'm a little hungry too. <laughs> Let's That's... roast our catch over the fire. What do you say? I'm hungry for some grilled fish. What happened to the fish? Do we have to pick him back up? No. Okay, time to grill up some fish. We got a lean. Giant fin muscle. Okay, let's do the first one. I don't want to eat a meal. I want to get back to Chi Chi because I know better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we went up in key defense. Man, I'm stuffed. Is there anything better than some fresh fish in your belly? Oh, I think I ate too much though. Well, if you want to be as big as your dad, you're going to have to eat a lot of this stuff. <laughs> right. fun today dad I'm glad you know I had fun today too thanks for your help I'll teach you how to fish next time so we can do it together okay I can't wait all right let's head home right <laughs> here
Here goes! Flying Nimbus! All right, hang on tight! <laughs> Whoa! It's a dinosaur! <laughs> Bye-bye! All right, we on flying Nimbus. Flying Nimbus is super fast. I've been riding this whole thing since I was just a little kid. Goku, it shouldn't have taken you so long to gather ingredients. Yeah, sorry about that. We did some training too. You're supposed to introduce Gohan to Master Roshi and the others today. Wait, that's today? Of course. Ah, sorry about that. I promise I'll remember next time. Forget it. What are you waiting for? Get in here. I need to get cooking right away. Man, I'm low on energy. We get to cook too? What the heck? What game is this? <laughs> I thought we was actually gonna be able to cook. Search the house. For what? Where are you off to now, Dad? I'm going to see Master Roshi, my old master. His place is surrounded by the sea. It's loads of fun! Oh, yeah! This is the stone me and Krillin used in our training. Me and him had to hunt this thing down. Krillin beat me then, but only because he cheated. I had to go hungry that night. <laughs> Is this really their whole house? Goku, where do you think you're going? I'm not right. <laughs> Really gets the blood pumping and the muscles moving, right, Gohan? Yeah. Later, Chi Chi. We're off to see Master Roshi. Wait a second. Are you forgetting something, Goku? I thought you had something for Gohan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Whoa, what a neat little ball! That little ball on top there? It's a Dragon Ball. I got it from my grandpa after he died. But that's not all you got from him. You were also named after him. Really? Oh my, Gohan looks so handsome. It'll be like he's watching over you whenever you wear that hat. So take real good care of it, okay, Gohan? Yeah, I will. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Goku, don't let anything happen to our little Gohan. And Gohan, be on your best behavior. I will, Mom. Bye! I 
what you both hope I suffer. You got it? You know, that is not going to happen, Chi Chi. I don't even know why you say that. It's said there are seven mystical orbs capable of granting any wish when brought together. With them, anything the heart desires can be attained, whether unfathomable riches or absolute power. These mysterious wish-granting orbs are known as the Dragon Balls. And it's around these Dragon Balls that this extraordinary story unfolds, with new challenges and adventures awaiting Goku and his friends at every turn. All right, so we gotta go see Master Roshi. What's Master Roshi like? Well, he looks like a feeble old geezer, but he's super strong. Really? Though it's a real shame he's kind of a massive pervert. <laughs> yeah, he was my rival at the time, but now he's my best friend. Is Krillin strong, just like you? Yeah, seriously. Out of all the guys I know, he's definitely up there. There's also a woman I know named Bulma. See, she was looking for the Dragon Balls when she ran into me, and we ended up going on adventures together. If we hadn't done that, I probably wouldn't have met Master Roshi and the others. I see. Not too much longer until Master Roshi's place. I wonder what everyone's been up to. Goku! My bad, y'all. <laughs> Who's this little guy? You mean all this? Oh, oh yeah. Meet my sure. son. What? <laughs> your, your son? Yeah. What? Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, n nice to meet you too. His name is Gohan. Gohan? Oh, so you named him after your grandpa, huh? Yeah. Suits him, don't you think? Goku, have you been training lately? Well, not as much as I want to. Chi Chi gets pretty angry if I train too much, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I haven't trained myself either. With Piccolo taken care of, things have been pretty quiet. Hey, you two, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, uh nothing really. Hmm. I could have sworn you two were talking about how you've both been slacking off on your training. <sighs> Guess there's no fooling you, is there, Master Roshi? It would seem you've both forgotten that training is a daily activity, not something you do only on special occasions. You should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. That's the way of the turtle school. I can't argue with you there. Now, to make sure you two never forget your daily training, I've got a little challenge for you. Come report back to me once you've finished your training. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Now, time to get back to my usual enjoyment. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, Dad? Try to get what juicy. That? Hmm. Not sure. Let's go. Right 
Raditz is here. Karma John, terrified. Just as I thought, the creatures on this planet are still alive. Kakarot's failed us. Uh, who or what are you? A power level of only five? What trash. Uh, stay back! I see the shotgun level. Dang! Huh. Is this the best this planet can muster? Well, now, here's a large power reading. Distance 4880. Kakarot. Just committed murder, sir. Just killed a farmer. What in the world could that have been? I've never felt a power like this. Not sure what this is, but I better check it. Piccolo. That would have been boost probably. Goku. I'll make quick work of you. You gotta come stronger than that, son. Time warps? Time for time warps. Whoa, this power is amazing. Oh, I got lost. Help. after all who the hell are you I don't have time to waste with you wait a minute this is a Namekian isn't it what the hell is a Namekian doing on this planet if that's true then what are you even doing here you got a death wish <laughs> you've got spunk I like that hmm a power level of 322, huh? You're definitely stronger than the others. But you wouldn't even be a warm-up for me. You're making a mistake in underestimating me. It's about to go down. Piccolo Let's versus see Raditz. If you can make this fun for me. What is all this guy? Yes, sir. Come on, Raditz. Fight back. It's lit. Oh, shoot. Okay, Raditz. No, sir. Oh. Oh. Where'd that tough guy attitude go? You done already? 
Oh, Rat is whipping my tail. <laughs> oh, Rat is the truth. Level up. That all, huh? Is it my turn now? Time. <laughs> I'm getting another large power reading. That's got to be Kakarot. Im impossible. Who the hell is this guy? And where is he going? <laughs> well, if it isn't Kakarot, you've grown. You look just like our old man. What? Tell me, Kakarot, what is this? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? Huh? Who are you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You have got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine then, allow me to refresh your memory. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. And that's not all. I'm your older brother, Raditz. You're lying! That can't be true! Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all life! We say and search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there so that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. Weak, snot-nosed brats like you are sent to low-level planets like this. And fortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. Uh, if this guy's telling the truth, then these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait. What about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? Don't play dumb with me. We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. Eh? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. My name's Son Goku, and I'm from Earth. Take your lies and get out of here. <laughs> well, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Because Planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. Almost all of our brethren have been turned to space dust now. <sighs> Including me and you, there are only four Saiyans left. Just the other day, we found a planet that should fetch us a high price. The three of us were going to have a hell of a time trying to overtake it. And that's when I remembered you. Kakarot. The planet is as good as ours if you join us. Come on, Kakarot! Think of the fun we'll have! Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement? Just shut up! If you think I'm joining you, then you're dumber than you look! Huh. Fine. Be that way. That little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? I guess I'll just take him instead. Huh? Come any closer and I'll knock you sky high! Back off! <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, go ahead if you think you can. There we go. Not going anywhere 
with you. Time to battle. Got him. Your kid's in real trouble if this is the best you can do. What? Your boy getting nothing but S ranks. takes to face him head on at least if we tried on our own but together if we were to team up we just might be able to take him down yeah you're probably right but can i really trust you what's your angle in all this don't get the wrong idea it isn't that i care in the slightest about your little kid or the earth that fool is the only thing standing between me and world domination. The moment he and his cronies are out of the picture. I'd finally rid myself of you. Then the world will be mine for the taking. You're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen. But for now, I guess we gotta join forces. Guess there's really no getting around that. Precisely. Nice. Look at the SS, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to end the episode right there. Let's tune in next time to see. I mean, you already know what's going to happen. but Let's tune in next time to see Goku and Piccolo go find Gohan and save the Earth from the mysterious Saiyans. So. Make sure you hit that like button on your way out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content. More DBZ Kakarot is on the way. Thank you for watching as always. Keep God first and I will see you next time.